what sense is our society male dominated? The fact that the vast majority of wealth is owned by men, the vast majority of capital is owned by men, women do more unpaid labour. A huge proportion of people who are seriously disaffected are men. Most people in prison are men. Most people who are on the street are men. Most victims of violent crime are men. Most people who commit suicide are men. Most people who die in wars are men. People who do worse in school are men. Where's the dominance here precisely? What you're doing is you're taking a tiny substrata of hyper successful men and using that to represent the entire structure of Western society. There's nothing about that that's vaguely appropriate. Sensation. The baby really wanted to explore, like he wanted to explore. I won't blame you that though. You don't know me and I wouldn't have done it. And if you If I don't know you then please why are stop you? interrupting me. <laughs> the thing is, when I got down don't on one knee again I got interrupted. Good I'm lord. Done with this. <laughs> Go, go. Uh. Can I ask you what you identify as? Identify? Eth eth ethnicity. I identify as an American. Not uh, an African American? I didn't get elected into my position because of the color of my skin or do any, any race baiting stuff that it seems like you're promoting here. videos to my homeboys. Her I friends, don't believe you. you don't believe me? No. You don't believe me? No. I don't believe them either. I have a video. Wait, I brought it to you right Where now. Oh, okay. Well, I'll I see. Right Where video? Sensual I want to see it. We're, We're about right to right see. It. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, now it's... <gasps> yeah, definitely. Kimari! <laughs> see, this one right makes me mad all over again. <laughs> She belongs to the streets. Whoa, how, how could she, like, how could she do this? So today it is my husband's funeral, which unfortunately I cannot make because obviously I am busy here in Tunisia. I would have loved to have gone. We were together for 17 years. Unfortunately for me, he did decide to die on the week I had planned to come on holiday. So I did make the decision not to go because you know, I need a holiday at the end of the day, and my holiday is way more important than sitting in a church watching people cry. I would love to give him a good send off, so I'm going to get absolutely drunk tonight with my new, with this new guy that I met, and I'm going to raise a glass for you, Jeremy, because you were an amazing husband, very rich. Um, I can't wait to do the will reading when I'm home. I have made sure I'm going to be home in time to do the will reading because I would not miss that for the world because obviously I am due to get a lot of money and that's a very, very important thing to me. So um, I hope you have a good funeral today, Jeremy. Love you. Mwah. All good things have to come to an end. Women like this are the cause of the problem in this world. Like, I feel women like this deserve nothing but garbages. But I'm not just a ghost. I'm a nightmare. Hey, tell them how old you is. 37. 37. How many kids you got? Six. And that's no cap, right? Look at the. But I just can't even. Look at. Oh! Look at. Oh. Whoa, how can you have six kids and still be single like six different times, bro? If the ERA was passed, what tangible changes would occur? Isn't it true that like if the ERA passed, Roe versus Wade would have been protected more so? What does that have to do with rights between men and women? Isn't that men, a right to bodily autonomy? Yeah, men have no reproductive rights, so it's not a, it's, you can't make this comparison. Yeah. Men don't have a right to an abortion, or they don't have a right to prevent women from getting an abortion. I don't know, my dad had to sign off on my mom getting her tubes tied. This is That's a feminist a right. trope I hear about. I don't know. It's if not a trope. Validity. It actually happens. I don't know if there's actually any validity to doctors re requiring a spouse to consent to these things. Perhaps in years past. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? What's your age? 23. 21. Are you ladies single? No, we're both getting married. I get in married two in two weeks. I get married in two months. How much did your man spend on your wedding rings? Mine was from my grandma, so none. It was completely passed back oh, down. Got a wedding band that was like six hundred dollars, maybe. And you? And my engagement ring, I think it was like fifteen hundred, and then my wedding band was like six hundred, seven hundred. So at the end of the day, our 
important thing is, is we want to upgrade in the future because we know we're going to be together long term. So I'm proud of my little ring right now. It's not little, actually. It's beautiful. So. so why don't you care about the price like so many women tend to do? If you really love them, it's not about how big your ring is. It's about marrying them and being together. I would have married him without a ring because th thankfully, I know a lot of people don't get to experience that, but thankfully, I found a man that's pursuing my heart rather than everything else. Guys, when you see a woman who's willing to stay, fight for you, and like be there for you, it's it's more than diamond. Like you need to really cherish and honor her because like right now, I'll discuss like the less than twenty, the less than ten percent of women right now, bro. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.